Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's LOL Goosenake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, set up the drivers for these two different types of controllers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can't get them in the screen. There we go. <laughs> uh, this is going to be how to set these up for PC. Um, as you guys should know, if you have them, uh, you plug them in, and originally uh, they will not work uh, since they are off brand and the drivers do not automatically get detected um, to run on your PC. So basically, what you guys are going to do is come to this website here. Um, it's official Microsoft, it's where you get the drivers. Uh, you're going to select your operating system here. For me, it's going to be Windows 7 64 bit. If you don't know your uh, operating system, you should probably be careful downloading this because uh, it could potentially mess some things up. I'm not sure about that. Uh, you're going to click down here below, uh, down here at the thing, and run it. It's an executable file. Run that, accept, next, it's installing the files. All right, and then when it's done installing, it'll say installation complete here. You're going to click finish. All right, and then you're going to come into type in device. And then click on device manager right here. And it's going to open, and you should automatically see here uh, where it says other devices, and then you'll see gamepad for Xbox 360, something along those lines. It'll have a little yellow warning sign just like this. You're going to double click this. You're going to click update driver. Browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list of drivers of device drivers on my computer. Click there. And you're going to see this little screen here. You're going to come down until you see this one that says Microsoft Common Controller for Windows Class. You're going to double click that. Click on the latest version, which will be the very top one here. Click next. Click yes. And then it'll say it's successfully updated your driver software I'm gonna click close exit all that out and as you can see guys I don't know if you noticed before but on um, the light was off here the light will now come on um, if you have like the afterglow controller uh, that will actually start lighting up it won't light up without um, having the drivers properly installed but um, guys if this video was helpful to you um, for setting up your controller uh, please give it a like uh, subscribe if you'd like more tutorial type videos like this um, I'm planning on making more uh, along these lines if you guys just request them I'll try to get you guys some help on that and uh, get it get back to you as soon as possible uh, but other than that though guys thank you for watching